Hi everyone, so at the time you are watching this video, Journey has recently celebrated her one year adoptiversary. She was adopted on August 22nd, 2015, so she has been with us for exactly one year, three days at the time of this video's uploading. Journey is the first female beta I've had and is also the one most likely to keep me on my toes. From internet-wide debates on her sex, which we concluded as a female, to mysterious possible illnesses no one in the beta community can explain, she has definitely been the center of many conversations. So I, like most people, drifted towards the bright, colorful, and the huge finned males that you commonly think of when you hear the word beta. You generally don't think of those pale, colored, short, thin ones as much. However, one day I was at PetSmart and I was there to pick up the Halloween ornaments because they put them out in late August, and I had stopped to look at the bettas as usual, and a female, who wasn't actually Journey, caught my eye and I immediately wanted a female from that day, so I ended up buying a Halloween pumpkin ornament, but I went home without a betta. The next day I went back and I got Journey. So I bought a lot of pink ornaments just for her because I always believed that I couldn't give them to my males. So as I was acclimating her, I decided it was probably best I start researching females. So I looked up female bettas and noticed that 99% of them had stubby fins. Um, I honestly thought that the pet store had mislabeled her as a girl and that she was actually a boy. Um, thus, my extent of scientific research of female bettas began inspiring my recent How to Sex Your Veil Tail Betta video. Um, but due to personality and fin shape, anatomy, and all other scientific characteristics, she was sexed as female correctly. Um, but like the majority of my bettas, she was named before I even got her. And she was named after my love for adventure. I love camping, I love traveling, basically everything that has to do with adventure, I like to do it. And I always like to name my bettas after things that I either like or I'm passionate about or kind of... Um, in some way represent who I am through the name of my fish. So that's why Journey is named Journey. She is named after the journeys that I hope to take in my life. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, there definitely is something going on with Journey that I don't know if it's an illness, I don't know if it's color changing, I don't know if it's just her, I don't know if it's an injury, but there is definitely something going on with her that has been going on since the day I bought her. Um, no one, um, including myself, can find any answers. And I tried treating it with aquarium salt and nothing really happened, so I just kind of disregarded it, kept an eye on it, and let it go. So I'm still unsure as to what it is. Um, I wish I could figure it out. Um, it doesn't seem to be bothering her at all. She eats perfectly well. So it's definitely, like I said, she kind of keeps you on your toes and um, has the weirdest female betta looks she has the weirdest illness in the history of the world like when i named her journey i didn't think she'd be taking me on a mental journey of trying to figure out what's wrong with her um <laughs> but like i did say earlier journey was brought home into a one gallon tank however in march of 2015 she got a nice tank upgrade up into a three gallon and she's already one of the more active bettas that i had but when i put her in this tank i never thought i would ever see her as happy as she was in her upgraded tank that two extra gallons made a huge difference for her so back on monday which was august 22nd she celebrated her one year adoptiversary so we've had her for one year and three days at this time so thank you so much for watching this little video i know it's a little bit different than what i normally make it's not very educational it's more of a just a little story time but i like to make these um for their adoptiversaries just kind of for memory's sake um for in the future but i hope you enjoyed the little bit of a backstory and that you enjoy it anyway and i'll be back next week with something very interesting and exciting and is sort of been requested um it has been suggested that's all the hints i'm gonna give you so i'll see you next time bye but i feel like i can't put like barbie ornaments and mermaids and pink and all of this floral pretty stuff in my males tanks i like to keep my males tanks full of skulls and shipwrecks and everything all manly 